Hi everybody, in today's video I have another topic Tuesday for you and today's topic is favorite glitters and toppers. So there was a similar topic a few weeks ago and I was so bummed out I missed it. So I'm glad this kind of came up again because you guys know I love my glitters. So I do want to show you some of my favorite glitters. I also have a couple of toppers pulled to talk about. And um, of course I have a lot of polish as usual. And if I look a little crazy, I apologize. I just got back from a walk and my hair's all like, it's gotten windy so my hair's like all crazy. But um, I do want to talk about this topic because I'm just super excited for it. I love, love glitter, you guys. So I have some really fun glitters to talk about and some really fun toppers to show you. Um, so I'm gonna talk about this one first. I feel like this is like a staple for any type of polish collecting person. Um, so this one is called Cosmic Dust from Salam Perfect. And this is basically just a ton of micro holographic glitters in a clear base. There's also a China Glaze version called Fairy Dust. Um, I don't have that one, I have this one. But Salam Perfect is made by China Glaze as far as I know. So I, it's probably basically the same thing just in a different bottle. But this polish is just so versatile, you guys. Usually what I end up doing is like if I put something on and I'm not completely loving it, I top some Fairy Dust over it and it's like good to go. Um, it just adds this like very delicate sparkle and I just think it can make even like something you're not loving better. So if you have this and you haven't tried it, I would recommend it like next time you have a manicure, you're kind of like, eh, put it on and you'll just be like, oh my gosh, it's like 20,000 times better. Um, or if you do have it, I'm sure you guys love it because this is just like, in my opinion, a staple to every nail polish collector's collection. Like you need to have this. So that's the first glitter. Um, next up I have, Next up, I have some like similar look glitters. Um, so I'll kind of talk about all these together at the same time. And these are all matte glitter polishes, which I love. Um, so the first one is called Maybelline Color Show Street Art. And this is like a chartreuse um, matte glitter with black matte glitters. There's a bunch of different sizes of glitter, different shapes. This polish reminds me of like graffiti on the nails and I love it. So um, the swatch picture I'm gonna show you, I think I'm wearing this over Simple Colors Blue Lala, but this goes over tons of stuff. Um, I love this, I just think it adds so much interest. Um, it has great glitter payoff, great formula. These are no longer being made, but I'm sure you could look on eBay and find one of these or like a D-Stash page and find one of these. There's a bunch of different colors of them. This is the only one I have, but I freaking love this, you guys. I think it's so, so fun. Um, then this polish is extremely similar and I do think you can still find this. So this is called Blue Black Splatter Nail Polish. Um, this is from Blackheart Beauty. Blackheart Beauty just has the most boring polish names. Um, but this has matte turquoise and matte black glitters, different sizes as well. My oldest son bought this for me and you guys, I love this. I hope I can find the swatch picture of this that I want to show you because I wore this over a yellow cream and oh my gosh, it was so, so fun. So eye-catching. Um, it was just beautiful on the nails. This also has great glitter payoff. Um, pretty much one coat just gives you the look you want. It dries fast. It doesn't, like, it's not base heavy or anything like that. This is a gorgeous polish and I believe they also have a ton of different colors of this, um, like, splatter look glitter. So if you're interested, I would definitely check them out and see what you find. And then last up, this is from Lush Lacquer. Um, this is no longer called Lush Lacquer. They're called um, Polish Me Silly, I believe. But this is called Salt and Peppa, and I've had this forever, you guys. So when um, Linderella's Connect the Dots came out, everyone was dying for that polish, like dying for it. But Linderella's were like expensive, hard to get, and they just seemed like kind of out of reach for me, like nothing I would ever try to buy. So when I saw this on Etsy, I was like, okay, I need it because it reminds me of Connect the Dots. And this has a bunch of different shapes of matte white and matte black glitters, but this also has a touch of holographic, which I do like. And um, I love this, you guys. I wear this over neons in the summer. I wear it over pastels. Um, I wore it over red for Valentine's Day. I just think it's really versatile. And then if you watched a couple of videos back, um, I showed you a similar polish that Mary Beth sent me from Paparazzi. 
they sell that brand at CVS. Um, and it was kind of a similar thing. It did not have the holographic. The only reason I didn't talk about that here is because I haven't worn it for a full Manny yet. So I'm not totally sure about the formula. But um, it looks super fun too. So if you're looking for something, um, maybe see if you can find that on eBay. But I just think these are so versatile. Um, they go over all kinds of different creams and they add just so much fun to them. And they are so eye-catching. So this is something I just really love is the matte black glitter mixed with another color of matte glitter. So... Um, and then I have a couple of holiday glitters because you guys know I love my holiday glitters. So this is called Black Magic from Simple Colors. Um, this is a Halloween glitter. I wear this every October. It has a um, like darker gray glitter and then also orange glitters and also orange glitter, orange glitters and some silver. Um, I wore this over a gray cream this year and you guys I loved it. So I've used down to about here on this polish. I will be sad when it's gone, but oh, I just love it so much now. I actually wish I had a backup of this, but maybe some other brands will come out with some exciting Halloween glitters and find something else I love. So that's um Black Magic. And then this one is from this Christmas, and this is called Resting Grinch Face from um, China Glaze. This came out in a Grinch collection. I was so excited when this Grinch collection came out, you guys. So this has a mix of all sparkly glitters. There's gold, turquoise, red, silver, green. Um, it's just a really, really fun mix. And I miss this type of glitter. Like when I first got into polish, this was the kind of glitters that everybody was putting out. And I loved them. And then it kind of went away. Glitter kind of went away a little bit. And, you know, different things come and go with nail trends. But when this came out, oh, I was just like, it was like nostalgic for me. And I just love this glitter mix. I wore this over Grinch Worthy from the collection. And I love the way it looked. But I could see wearing this other times of the year besides Christmas. Um, like over a white, over black. I just think it's a really, really fun glitter. Um, then I have this Orly, and this is called Turn It Up. So if you watched my top 18 polishes of 2018, this glitter was in there. I've had this for a while. I finally decided to wear it, and oh, you guys, it's so, so fun. It's like a party on the nail, party in a bottle. Um, this is just a bunch of matte, different size glitters, mostly primary colors. There's red, blue, green, yellow. Um, a little bit of white. I wore this over black and it literally looked like fireworks were going off on my nails. I got a ton of compliments on it. It was super fun, super eye-catching. Um, I'm hoping to try this over white to see how much it pops like that. And then I also think it would look nice over a pastel because um, like I said, the glitters are mostly primary colors. I think they would pop off of something lighter. So if you have this glitter and you haven't tried it yet, get it out. If you love super fun party on the nail glitters, I would definitely look for this because I just think it's a party on the nail. And then speaking of party on the nails, I just wore this and I feel the same way about this glitter. This is called Invite Only from Color Club. And this is a mix of neon glitters in a clear base. This has um, pink, orange, turquoise, yellow, and um, all matte. So I actually bought this on clearance at Walmart. And when I put it on, I was so bummed out that I didn't get two bottles because I was like, oh my God, I'm in love with this glitter. I wore it over um, Color Club Poochie Licious and I loved the combination. Then um, if you guys noticed, I did a reorganization of my polishes. My simple colors came up here and some stuff moved around because I'm running out of space again and I'm trying to keep brands together. So I did a little bit of reorganization um, this weekend. But while I was doing that, I found another bottle of this. So I must have bought it at one point and then like forgot I bought it and then saw it on clearance and bought it again. But I'm super excited because I see myself wearing this quite a bit. I just think it's super fun. I think it's like kind of like my personality in a bottle and just a party in a bottle. Like I love neons, I love glitter, I love brights and like all of that is in here. Um, if you have this and you haven't tried it, I would get it out now, especially that we're doing Color Club Untrieds because it is so fun.
Um, then this glitter is also kind of recent. This is called Sparkles Between Us from Essie. This came out in the Valentine collection with the fun bottles. Um, this has matte pink and purplish glitters and then a little bit of holographic. I thought this was so pretty, you guys. When I wore it, I did not especially love the combination I picked for it because I didn't feel like I put a good cream in there, but... I just think this is super fun. I would wear it next time over like a black or a white or like a pastel now for Easter. Um, I just think this is a really fun glitter mix and I love the bottle and I just think it's super cute. Then I have this glitter I've talked about recently as well. This was in my top 10 OPI polishes. This is Comet in the Sky from OPI. And this came out in a Gwen Stefani collection. It has matte black glitters and then some like iridescent, opalescent type glitters. But I like that it has some really big glitters in there. I feel like it adds a more interest than when everything's all the same size. Um, and I wore this over sort of like a um, pearl finish polish. And oh my gosh, you guys, I loved it. I've also worn this over like a turquoise light blue. And I love that as well. I just think this is a very interesting glitter. Really, really pretty. Has a good has a good glitter payoff. If you have this in your collection and you haven't put it on yet, get it out where it, it is beautiful. Um, and then next up is like my most worn glitter in my whole collection. I'm not sure why I'm drawn to this so much, but this is Sinful Colors Full Spectrum. Um, I had it marked because I was going to project polish it because I've just worn so much of it. I was like, I might as well just finish it off. So I'm down to about here on it. Um, and this is like a rose gold with some holographic glitter. I just think this glitter is like a classy glitter. I don't even know what that means. But when I wear it, I usually wear it over like a darker maroon polish. And I just think it looks really classy. I've also worn this over nude. And I feel like it just gives nude polish something extra. And I love it over black as well. So I've worn this quite a bit. Um, I think I'm going to try and finish this bottle just because I'm so close and I don't ever finish bottles. But this glitter is beautiful, you guys. If you have this and you haven't tried it, get it out. It's so pretty. Um, it's just a beautiful glitter. It's just like so, it reminds me of like champagne or something. It's really fun. Um, then next up I have a few toppers to talk about. So this is Green Ocean from Simple Colors. I've talked about this before. It's like a green jelly base with a bunch of iridescent different size um, like shards. This polish adds so much interest to the nails I think. Um, I love it over darker colors. I've worn it mostly over black like dark blues, dark greens. But Diana and some call me Coco wore this and I think she put it over like a maroon and then maybe like a purple. And it looked really, really pretty. So I definitely think I need to expand my horizons with this polish and try it over some different things. But I also think I need a backup. So I'm going to have to get online and look for a backup of this because as you can see, I'm down to about here on it. And my Walgreens quit selling. This isn't core at Walmart or at my Walmart. They don't have it anymore. And I just love this topper. For two bucks, I think you get so much interest. Has a good formula. Um, you get a nice payoff of flakies. You know, it's not base heavy or anything like that. So this is one of my favorite toppers. I've had this for a long time and I wear it fairly often because I just think it's fun. Then um, these two are dupes of each other. So I decided to talk about both. Um, so this is called Keep Calm from Essie. This came out in their Mercury Retrograde collection. It was kind of hard to find. I really loved this topper, you guys. I thought it added a lot of interest. And I compared it to, I read somewhere that these were dupes. So I have a comparison video. I'll link it down below. I think they're pretty close to dupes as well. This is called Let Your Twilight Sparkle from China Glaze. And this came out in the My Little Pony collection. And I love these toppers. I just think they add some really nice interest. In the video I'm talking about, I swatched them over black and white. I loved them over both colors. And then I've also worn this one over like, um, darker purple and it was really really pretty I think this would look nice over like dark blues I have yet to try it over pastels but I am interested in seeing how that works out because I just think these are really really pretty um, they are extremely close if you have one I don't think you need both so keep that in mind then 
Um, this is my only I Love Nail Polish that I have, and this is The Magician. Um, in the bottle, this isn't really going to look super exciting, but I do have, I believe, good swatch pictures and a video of this over like a darker purple. This has the Unicorn Pea Pigment that is very sought after. The Unicorn Pea Pigment basically has like a red to green shift. Um, I don't think you're going to be able to see it on camera, but... Um, in my pictures, you'll notice it. This is so pretty, you guys. It adds so much interest to darker polishes. I've never tried it over lighter, but I have worn it over darker, and I do think that it adds a lot of interest. What it reminds me of is like like a paint finish on a car. Um, like when you look at certain angles, you can see like different types of colors. Um, low riders are really popular here where I live, and it kind of reminds me of that. You put like a candy coating on the paint job, and it gives it this like extra dimension. That's what this reminds me of on the nails, so... This is really, really fun. Um, I paid a lot for this polish, and um, I don't know. I guess it was worth it because I do like it, but this unicorn pea was extremely hard to find, and then all of a sudden, people have been finding more unicorn pea, and more unicorn pea polishes have been coming out. Um, so if you don't have any unicorn pea, I definitely suggest getting some. I have a couple of tonic toppers that also have the unicorn pea, and... It's really fun, so keep your eye out. Grab some unicorn pee if you don't have any. I think everybody needs at least one bottle of unicorn pee polish in their collection. So that is it for this Topic Tuesday video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Thanks you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Have a good night.